Recently, we made a big update to StepSend. From now on, the dashboard is the default way to explore your StepSend GraphQL APIs. Previously, you can have a tunnel to a localhost graphical to explore your API, but now you can do all this directly from the dashboard. In the dashboard, you can view usage statistics for your endpoints, you can explore the endpoint and the schema, and you can also generate code snippets that you can already use in a JavaScript or React application. So let's have a look at the all new dashboard. The dashboard is available at dashboard.stepsend.com. In here, you can find a list of all your deployed endpoints, including some statistics, such as the amount of queries you run and also the total response time. To get an overview of all the data we gather about your endpoints, you can press the button About Endpoints and it will show you a pop up containing all the information we have about the endpoints, including some explanations. To start exploring your endpoint, you just have to press on any of these endpoints in the list. So let's explore the API that's called With OpenAI. And this is an example based on an example you can find on our YouTube that's using ChatGPT to generate descriptions based on a list of uh, blog posts that we published on the StepSend blog. In this built-in graphical, which is using the all new graphical 2.0, you can see we already generate a query for you. But let's get rid of this and use the query builder, which you can find here, to use a different query. The query I'll be using is called feed. And in here, I want to get the title and the link this query will pull this data from the steps and RSS feed and display it right here in the graphical. But you can also enhance this data with data coming from GPT-3. So what GPT-3 does in this example, it summarizes the information per blog post and generate a limerick. And if you want to know more about this example, you should go to our examples repo where we have a directory inside the examples repository called with OpenAI. And to edit, I can just use the summary and choices, and then it is called text. So this will be the limerick that summarizes any of these examples. To continue, I can also use the same view to export code snippets. For example, I can use this query and copy it in my terminal to actually start using the Steps and GraphQL API directly from my terminal. So if I would paste this in the terminal, you would see that the response is the same as the responses we get in the graphical on the steps and dashboard. Also, I can export these code snippets to work with JavaScript. I can change this button from curl to JavaScript, and then I have a JavaScript snippet that I can post in a JavaScript project. The easiest way to set up a new JavaScript project is probably by using Code Sandbox, which is a IDE that runs in the cloud. I already have set up a vanilla JavaScript project, and the only thing I need to do is paste my JavaScript snippet that was generated in the dashboard and paste it here. As soon as I save this, you should be seeing the response also in my console as I'm logging the response in my console there. Of course, I can also use the response to display it on this page uh, or for example, in a React view or Angular application. We have some other tricks in the dashboard as well. You already saw the builder that you can use to find queries uh, that are available in your schema. You can also use a prettifier button here. So maybe if I start adding spaces or unnecessary tabs, I can use the prettifier to clean it up for me. Of course, I can also pass variables right here. I would want to add the limit. Oh, that's uppercase, should be lowercase of my posts. I can add it just like this inside my variables tab. And then of course, I would need to add a limit here which is a integer. And I can also pass this on to my feed. It is taking a limit variable. And now it should only get the latest five, latest five blog posts from the steps and feed. And as you can see, it loaded five blog posts only. In here, you can also find the history, which are all the queries that you've just run. And as you can see, I only named them my query. So obviously it would make more sense to use named queries in a better way, for example, calling this get from feed or get feed, or wherever you like to name your queries. Pretty soon we'll be adding much more cool stuff to the steps and dashboard. So make sure to stay updated with steps and, and we also would really love your feedback on what we're building. If you already started using the steps and dashboard, make sure to reach out to us on discord and let us know how you like the dashboard. 
If there are any improvements you'd like to see, also let us know, because we're happy to work with you and make the dashboard the best possible developer experience you can have for building GraphQL APIs with StepSense.